So today's dog bonus exercise is going to be front leg lateral, we don't have much room, lateral movement. So getting our dogs, so instead of having them walk with their legs like this, like they always do, or running, we're gonna have them instead doing lateral movement where they sidestep um, to, work, to work the lateral. Last week we focused on just the rears working lateral. Now we're gonna do just the fronts working lateral. So I have a step riser set up. I have one of those gym exercise ones. So if you've got a step riser, fantastic. You need something kind of kind of long. So just a oops, cookie down. Just a bench probably isn't going to be long enough for your dog to really get a couple steps in each direction. You could use, if you've got multiple phone books or multiple encyclopedias, the idea is to get your dog to put their front feet up on an object so then they can focus on moving it side to side. It's a little easier when you have a prop as opposed to just having all four on the ground and get them to move laterally. That doesn't work quite as well. If you have a treadmill, you can also use your treadmill um, if this was my treadmill and it was going this way, I would get my dog to step up on the edge while it was stopped and then feed treats while I turn it on the lowest setting. So that as that treadmill belt rolls, my dog has to sidestep to stay on so they don't shoop, fall off. So, arrow. Um, I don't have treadmill, so I can't demo it. You're so cute. Oh. So, step one is getting your front feet on the object. Step up. So now I'm on the side that I want my dog moving away from. I'm gonna take that treat and send it this way and I'm also going to have my foot and just kind of lean. Now, I don't know how well you can see me. There's actually, can you see wall? There's actually space in between my dog and I. Sometimes when you're just starting, um, you may have to just gently touch them, we're not jamming on our dogs, we're not kneeing them, we're not pushing them, because force isn't fun. But sometimes a little bit of physical pressure will help, especially when your dog's still learning. Now we've done this several times, so I just have to move my treat, and she knows uh, the, the expectation. I wonder if I can get her to go this way without, nope, then she's gonna do a step up. Walk it, and this way. So I do, even though we've had practice, I do still need to be on the opposite side of where she's going just to keep her pointed forward, pointed perpendicular on, on the step. Now it's not a huge, it's not a huge movement. Nice. Um, and it's not supposed to be. They don't have quite as much mobility in their, in their shoulders as we have in our, ooh, another one now. But it's getting them to sidestep, depending on how long or short your dog is, you might be able to swing it. And isn't it interesting, find it. There you go, use your sniffer. My dog moves faster and more fluid one direction than the other. All right, so we all have a strong side step. We all have a weak side. And so it's important to work both sides. So getting those dogs to side, side step and use that lateral motion. Have a great day.